But I feel like this is important to talk about. Like you asked me, did I know that LTG was 120k in debt? Did you know I didn't care? It's not my problem. <laughs> like LT, like first off, do we really know that L LTG is 120k in debt? And if so, are you going to help him with that? Like whoever these people are that supposedly hacked his his. First off, you can't hate a person so much that you start doing illegal stuff that's going to land you in jail you're literally trying to hack into his credit report that's that's a federal crime at that point i'm talking about that's federal crime federal not just jail you go into the booty house shout out to my homeboy who made that joke shout out to my homeboy darjan that made that joke but you go into the booty house you don't you just go into jail you go into the booty house and you know what they do to people in the booty house it's, it's self-explanatory <laughs> you're walking hey look you go into the booty house walking straight you're gonna come out the booty house walking with a twitch we're just gonna leave it at that but nah all jokes aside like you're you, you mean to tell all this stemmed from when it comes to ltg all this came from is because people didn't like the way he was playing street fighter 4 like this whole hating ltg wave Like, literally, like, this whole hating LTG wave, I never understood it. Because I understand where it, it literally began at him. Like, it didn't start with the Viscant stuff. It didn't start with, you know, him making fun of people. It literally started from him playing Street Fighter 4 and rage quitting. Because people didn't like the way he was playing his game. And that's crazy to me. And when you look at it, and when you look at the foundation of all the LTG hate, all the way up until now... It's like, bro, y'all went from not liking this dude from just rage quitting to hacking into his credit reports. Like, hacking. Like, you literally going through some computer program to literally illegally get his private information. You're trying to go to jail. No, no, no. You're trying to go to federal prison. Like, this is what people are doing. They're literally, they're literally like trying to go to federal prison. They don't even care that they're doing this because they're so mesmerized by the fact that they think they make an LTG mad. They don't even care that they're doing something illegal. That's stupid. Like, there's no nice way of saying that. That's stupid. <laughs> like, that's dumb. You mean to tell me you don't like the way somebody plays a video game? To the point where you're hacking their credit report just so that you can make fun of him. And if he is, and if he does have 120k in debt, why is you making fun of him? Hell, anybody who goes to college is gonna end up in damn debt. Anybody who is financing something is uh, might might go into debt. I don't, I don't I don't know, but why is that your problem? N not you in particular, you know, uh, Taco Cat. But I'm, I'm, I'm just generally talking about the people that I be seeing like in his Twitch and all that that be hating on him. Like, why is that their issue? Like, why are y'all so fascinated by this dude to where y'all start hacking into his credit report? Like, I remember when it was like 2000, what, 2016, 2017, when, when people was like making fun of like calling his old job at like supposedly when he was like a manager at goodwill or something and they was calling his old job trying to get him fired when he didn't even work there no more ain't that something like this is what people was doing to ltg they was trying to ruin his real life because they didn't like the way he played a video game like it's like it, 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 is that logic not clicking yeah i used to watch him but, but here's the thing used to if I don't like the way he's playing a certain game, or if I feel like I don't like the way he's carrying himself um, in his videos, I'm going to stop watching. How is that so damn hard for people? You got People don't like him so much that they're calling his job or his former job, hacking into his credit report, making up stories about him having some kid or something. Even if he did, it's not their business. Like, it's literally not their business. And to make fun of people for that is like, it's, come on, bro. You don't know what that man going through. You know what I'm saying? 
I don't care if he's mentally untouchable or not. That's not their business to be putting out there. When he decides he wants to put that information out there, or if he decides to put that information out there, that's his business. That's his own private life. Why is people so fascinated with this man? I have no idea. It's nothing to just, you know, change the channel, or in this case, just don't watch him. If you don't like what he's doing to the point where you're trying to do illegal stuff to get private information and basically steal this dude's identity, don't watch him. It ain't that serious, bro. You just don't like the way the guy plays the games that he play. But it's entertaining. It's almost like an abusive relationship. Because the people claim they don't like him, but, they, but, but, they're so fascinated. but they're so fascinated with him that they can't leave. It's almost like LTG is like a drug to these people. And I mean that. Like they, It's almost like LTG is literally like a drug to these people. They are addicted to this man. They hate him so much that they can't leave him alone. They can't. But I will tell you this though. I, I low-key still support LTG in a sense that Anytime I see him doing good, I always, you know, try to congratulate him. I know he's like way famous than I am, way more famous than I am. So if I send a message to him, he's not going to see it. But uh, if I, um, you know, I try to send him, like, for example, when he was doing, the, um, what was the name of that reality show? The Street Fighter E-League on like some TV station. Like it was like some live reality TV show where him, Rob TV, Guilty, and like a, a slew of other people was playing Street Fighter in like a kind of almost like a Big Brother type of house. I don't know if y'all ever seen the live reality game show Big Brother or anything like that. Um, but it's kind of like that type of, that style of uh, a reality TV show. They only had a couple seasons. It flopped. The first season was the best season. But regardless, um, LTG was on there. His first, and this is back when Street Fighter V was out. Um, LTG, he made Urian. And, you know, they was picking who they wanted to fight against in the house. Basically to see who was going to stay and who was going to leave. Um, and mind you, they, they literally made this announcement that, you know, the loser leaves the house, but the winner stays. It was supposed to be that type of elimination type of thing. That, that determines who was going to ultimately win the TV show. Let me tell you how much influence LTG had over that house. And this is why, in my opinion, he's always going to be legendary. At any other time, on, on any game show that's kind of similar to that, the loser leaves the house. Like, they pack up their stuff, they leave, they gotta go. At any other game show that is similar to that setup, the loser leaves the house. In the first round, LTG went up against Rob TV. LTG had Urian. Rob TV was using Guile, who was you know pretty much top tier at that in in Street Fighter Five, which wasn't a real Street Fighter, by the way, for the record. I always called it Scrub Fighter Five, but that's neither here nor there. But they was going against each other. Rob TV won a match. I think LTG won a match after that. Then Rob TV had beat him like every match after that, so he lost. But LTG is such a popular and attention-grabbing figure that he was allowed to stay in the damn house. And they just, kept, they just kept him in the house the whole time until the show was over. When he was supposed to get kicked out. So, you know, I, I think he, he was at like the, the video game awards. He, he was announcing an award to somebody or he was uh presenting the awards to the nominees and who eventually whoever won it people were booing him at the event at the uh, at the at the game show awards but in that case it's better that they boo you than not say nothing at all because they know who you are you know regardless of what you know People don't pay attention, and I'm, I'm sorry, like, I'm going to get back to Pokemon Unite, but this just has to be said for the record. People don't pay attention to details when it comes to him. Weren't everyone there YouTubers or stream? Weren't everyone there YouTubers or streamers? I believe so. Of course, there was probably some, like, some silver screen stars there 
that tried that you know whose careers fell off that tried to get into the you know in like some streaming space but you know ultimately it was just famous youtubers and twitch streamers and you know uh professional you know something like tournament players and things like that yeah i still play mammoth swan like he's one of my best defenders uh but yeah like i remember another thing when him and brawly legs had gotten today back and forth you know brawly legs was you know he had a disability well first and foremost you know said i want to say rest in peace brawly legs because he passed away last year but um you know he during street fighter 4 he was a very good uh Chung Lee player and the way he played because you know he had a physical deformity where like his from his neck down his body didn't grow so he had to get rolled around in like a wheelchair where he had to like basically lay uh where he had to like lay front side down and he had a controller kind of like where he had the position in his mouth and he kind of used his tongues to push the buttons and he used the side of his jaw to kind of like move the uh joystick around so he was a very good chung lee player and for that type of disability to you know not hold him back that makes him legendary but anyway him and ltg got into a back and forth brawley legs was the type of person that you know he didn't let his disability get the better of him and he didn't want to be treated differently than nobody else ltg in that whole situation you know ltg was the only person that didn't treat him differently Even though him and LTG was going in a little back and forth, which wasn't really a real beef. It was just like just a quick little, you know, back and forth. He made fun of LTG. LTG made fun of Brawley Legs. You know what I'm saying? LTG was the only person in that situation that actually treated Brawley Legs like a regular human being. When everybody else was feeling sorry for Brawley Legs and telling LTG, oh, why the hell would you be making fun of him? You know what I mean? Brawley Legs didn't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Brawley Legs, the one with the damn handicap, and he not even tripping on that. He was just like, oh, well, LTG made fun of me. I made fun of him. You know, I beat him in Street Fighter. It's, it's nothing. But everybody else was feeling sorry for Brawley Legs when Brawley Legs himself didn't want that. Nobody was... The, 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 the hate LTG train was riding so high, and it's still riding high, that they just... It's like critical thinking skills don't come into play. Y'all are treating the man differently when he didn't want to be treated differently. And the guy that y'all hate so much is the only person actually treating him with enough respect to treat, to treat him like he does everybody else. He makes fun of everybody. Why would Brawley Legs be included? Excluded from that. So. But anyway, that's my take on ltg and whatever situations he got going on i hope he's not going through nothing bad if he is you know i hope he gets justice for whoever hacked his stuff you know i hope you know like the brother's doing all right you know uh um peanut butter complexion for the win uh <laughs> low tier god and all that jazz but you know always wanted to give a shout out to him you know just people don't be stupid and do illegal stuff just because you don't like the way somebody plays the game like y'all be y'all been hating on that dude like y'all been trying to find excuses and i said this like a year ago like years ago you have people in this world that like to hide in the shadows and like to wait for the world to label somebody as the bad guy just so that that the person that's hiding in the shadows can jump out and pretend to be the hero but the whole time the person that's pretending to be a hero they got this they, they got the skeletons in their closet i remember it was people that was hating on him and they turned out to be racist themselves they turned out to be the ones in debt they turned out to be the ones that was in trouble everything that they wanted they wanted to label ltg you know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck you you fat at home looking like a damn blob and you're going to make fun of a dude that works out all the time? How does how the hell does that work? The dude goes to the gym 
often to where he keeps himself in shape, but you got fat dudes making fun of him. He's healthy. You're not. Guess who's winning in that situation? No matter how much you make fun of him, he's in better shape. I don't feel bad for him. I don't think he's going through all that stuff that people try to say. It's nothing to feel bad about. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think he's going through all the nonsense that people are trying to say. It's people just making stuff up on him. You know what I'm saying? And if he is going through that stuff, you know, I wish him, I wish him the best. But at the same time, bro, it's his business. So let him deal with that. To all the people online that's trying to make fun of him and hack into his, come on, bro, like, be better than that. But I know they won't because they just hate the guy so much that they're fa they hate the guy so much they're fascinated by it. They hate the fact they hate the fact that they love him. That's really what it is. They hate the fact that they love him so much. Because if they didn't, they would do like I did and just stop watching. If you don't like the, the content he's making, just stop watching. Move on with your life. Because he got a, a, a slew of other people that enjoys what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to go trolling, stream sniping, um, hacking into his credit report, all because y'all just, y'all don't know what else to do with y'all sales. Like, damn. Get a life. Yeah, I'm still playing. I just had to, you know, that was just something I had to speak on. You know, leave, it, leave that dude alone, man. Let him live his life and you go live yours. To, to anybody that's watching this video that's messing with LTG. You know, I ain't the biggest LTG fan, you know, or whatever like that. But I don't hate the brother. I don't know him personally to hate him. That's real shit. Like, I don't know him personally to hate him. But, you know, wish him all success. You know, all the, uh, you know, any good that's coming his way. I hope he gets it. Um, I hope all the negative and trollish bullshit comes to an end. And people can just enjoy his content for what it is. If the, if that's what you enjoy watching. If not, move on. They got other people to watch. You ain't got to troll and hack and do all this illegal stuff to the guy. So that's just my that's just my take on it.